So today I'm taking a look at video to page. If that sounds familiar, it's because there's also a deal out called video to blog at the moment, and they do kind of similar things. You take a YouTube video and you grab the URL, paste it in and hit generate. Where this differs from other tools like this is you get a content type selection. So we can have it generate long form blog, listicles, how to, case studies, interviews, comparisons, uh, alternatives or reviews. This video is a review of Brizzy Cloud, so I'm going to click that. But you can also have it as SEO focused, marketing, podcast, uh, tutorial course, document, or just get the uh, transcription. So let's go back and make sure it's set on review. And you can see as I'm talking, it's uploading the video from the link. Now I simply click review. It's now going to transcribe it. Now, where this has a big advantage over some others is this isn't based on the number of videos or, or blogs that you produce. So video to blog, uh, each tier is kind of like, I think it's 10 documents. So the lowest tier, you can produce 10 blogs a month. Video to page is based on time. So if you can just see it down here, it says I've got six hours left. And so once you've inputted it, you can see it's pulled through the video and it's now starting to create the content. It creates it section by section. So we'll come back to that in a second. So I'm on Absumo tier one, which is five hours. For some reason, it's shown six down here. So I'm not sure if I've had some bonus hour added. So I actually do quite short videos. I try and keep my reviews clear, concise, you know, no more than 10 minutes. Well, five hours, that's a lot of videos I can convert. However, if you're into your long form video content, you can easily go to 12, 130 hours. Tier five is, is the maximum. But I think if you've got a YouTube channel, you're producing a few videos a month. Tier one is pretty generous. Let's go back to Pretty Cloud. Okay, so it's created it. So over here, it's got a table of contents. So you can click on each of these and it'll go to the different plan. And what it's tried to do for this review one is pull out uh, specific quotes. It's then written the article and it's tried to include some screenshots. Now, this particular video doesn't work too well for screenshots because you end up with me pulling a funny face on them. If you want to edit the section, you can do so. Simply click edit, you can edit the text. And as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. It looks visually very interesting because it switches between the quotes and the bullets. It put in the screenshots. So when you are ready to share this, you click, click the share button. You can have this hosted on video to page. That's a multi-page or a single page uh, sort of blog post hosted, hosted with them. You can download this either as separate markdown pages. So each of those sections is a different page or you can download it as a one page. Now, when I tried the one page, it actually downloaded them as separate pages. I reported that to the team. They got back to me very quickly saying they're looking into it. You can download HTML or you can download it as a PDF file. So once you've finished creating this, this could make for a nice lead magnet. You can also export it with integrations to WordPress or Notion. One of the things I wanted to try was some of the different modes. So this is a private video I've done about uh, online community building, and it's done a really good job of converting this. It's picked out exactly the screenshot I would use. It's then come up with the sales funnel that I mentioned there, the role of communities, it's got links built in. It, so I was very impressed. If you're doing tutorial type channels, I think this has a very, very strong reason to use it. It does an incredibly good job. I also tried it on a step-by-step -step how to make slip. So this is a direct tutorial video rather than a course video. And again, it's done a very good job. It's identified the materials you need and put those as a bullet point. Now this isn't a great picture, so we can just edit this, go in and let's have a little look. Get some top down shots of something. Say take screenshot. That will replace the image it's got. It just takes a moment for it to do the screenshot. And then once you're happy with that, you simply click save and that's it updated. It's very easy to use system. So there we go, that looks better. Materials needed, step-by-step -step process, step one, step two. So it's done all this. And actually the 
the video itself wasn't set up as a step one, do this, step two, do this. It was just guiding them through. So I was really impressed that it had come up with all the steps. And so again, that's ready to go. So the different modes really do make a difference. So as I say, uh, this one is worth picking up at tier one. I think that's a very generous amount of time for you to experiment. And especially if you're doing shortish, you know, 10 minute videos, 15 minute videos, you could run it through as a blog post, but then you might want to try running it through as a course or a how to, depending on what the article is. So you can see which one works best. And maybe you use one on a website, maybe you use one on uh, social media or LinkedIn or post it somewhere else. Now, of course, once you've created amazing blog content, you need a way of sharing it. And that's where this next tool comes in. This is Hopper. I keep thinking it's Shopper. For some reason, that first H looks like an S to me. So this is a social media management tool and it allows you to connect Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube Shorts, and you can create LinkedIn bio. Each account will have a set number of posts that you can send out each month depending on your plan. So on tier one, which is what I've uh, been given for review, I can post 30 social posts per account. So I can post 30 times to Instagram, 30 times to Facebook and so on. You've also got uh, the AI credits, team members, storage, and that's what, that's what differs. There's only three tiers here with the maximum giving you 600 posts, 1000 AI credits, 15 team members, 10 gig of storage. There's a lot to go on there. Pick the one, that you think will do you for the long run. So if you're just a solo person, tier one is probably gonna be enough. Overall, this is a pretty easy to use system. Once you've got your accounts connected, one of the things I really like is this analytics section. So you can see it pulls in your posts and you can then order by things like the comments, the engagements, and you can see as you do this, it's sorting it differently. So depending on how you want to measure success, you might say that engagement is more important than comments is more important than reach. That's up to you, you can filter it. One thing I'd like to see done a little bit better though is quickly switching between the different accounts. So to now view the Instagram analytics, I have to click on Instagram, then I have to click on analytics to get there. It's just a bit cumbersome. So let's hope that they can do something about that. You can see the analytics here can also give us things like the best time to post. So it's analyzed the uh, post. We've got a bit of a breakdown followed gender. That's nice enough. <laughs> a bit of a, what would some would say, reverse color switch, male here in pink and female are in blue. We can see where the majority of them are. So really interesting stats that are very simply laid out. So let's show you the create new post. When you hit create new post, we can either create post reels stories because I'm on the Instagram account. So let's just create a new post. So you can upload image or video, and that can be from your device via a link or via a storage platform such as uh, Dropbox. I'm gonna pull it straight from the website just to give you a quick demo. You've then got the caption area to write in. And if you watch the interface, it'll change. So if you watch the interface, it'll change slightly. So if I add on Facebook and let's add on Pinterest, you can see it now has the Pinterest title and you can select the specific board you want to send it to as well, which is nice. Other platforms, you can, don't always have a board selector. You sometimes have to just set a default board. So it's already upscaled this image with AI and it's got some basic editing tools. So we can add a filter. You can fine tune brightness, contrast, saturation. You can add annotations. We can add a frame. So we can add a Polaroid frame, for example. You can redact certain areas as well. So if we add the Polaroid frame, so it's added the Polaroid frame, I'm just gonna edit it again. One area I think again that could do with a bit of improvement is the annotations. So if I put some text on, so this text area, you've only got a small number of fonts that you can pick from. And I think, especially if you're doing a Polaroid type thing, you'd really want more of a hand written font, wouldn't you? So if we just select one and then you can just go in and Type what you need to type, change the color, and let's have the size bumped up, medium, large, large. Doesn't seem that large to me. Not sure what's going on there. So I, I think there's a few little 
issues with the editor that need to be looked at. Because when I tried this yesterday, when I said large, it was it, there was a huge difference between medium and large to the point where really you just want to be able to drag and resize it to fit. So I'm not going to save that because that doesn't look good. Uh, now let's come up with the caption and it's got a handy AI tool so we can transform text that you've already put in, generate a caption and generate hashtags. So you may already have a general feel for what you want to say as the caption. So for this example, I'm just going to paste in part of the product description. I'm going to say AI and enhance the caption for more engaging, readable content. So it pulls up this little, um, little side box, like a, a chat window, and we want to use a friendly tone. And it's now going to give a few different options that we can have a pick from. So I'm going to go with this second option because it's written as if it's by the person who created it and that's whose account we're on. And it's now also added a couple of hashtags. We also need to add a Pinterest title and you can add the Pinterest URL as well. Once done, you can set up the time when you want it to be posted and that will automatically post it out to your chosen accounts. Another nice feature if you're using this in team mode is you can add some notes to the post and let people know what you want them to do. And then we want it as scheduled, save that. And there we go, that will now go out today at 1.17. It's in the schedule section and it should also appear in the calendar. And you can drag this around if you want to move it to a different date. One of the other elements just to note is the hashtag explorer. So you can search for hashtags at the top or you can filter by the area. So here's the art for hashtags or you can have a look at the trending and it's all done very simply. You can see how quick it is. We can see what's going on. What's what's the extreme competition at the moment. So let's have a look at low competition post count. Have a look. Can you fit in some of those? Maybe use some of those hashtags as well. Finally, there's a link in bio page element. I haven't explored this because the account I'm using this on directs people directly to a shop website. So we won't use the link in bio, but it's good to see that's there. If you want to learn more about this deal and just check over all the limits, then please click my affiliate link down below. Help support me and the channel. Let me know what you think to these two deals in the comments.